There's reports that the Canary Islands may open as soon as this week, as regions report no new cases of the coronavirus. The big question is, is there any truth in this? Well, we'll dive right into this after the intro. But first, remember to like, subscribe, and click that little bell for notifications of when I upload new videos. Now, let's go. Hello my friends, right firstly who's missing Tenerife and who's going to be on that plane as soon as lockdown is lifted? Well I know I am for sure. Now before we dive into this story I've just designed a special edition Tenerife Let's Go After Lockdown t-shirt. Here it is. You can get your hands on one of these in the links below for a limited time. So don't miss out on that, my friends. The links are down below. Now let's go on to the story. But before we do, don't get too overexcited just yet, as this doesn't apply to us Brits. However, it does give us some light at the end of the tunnel. So let's dive right in. Well, a number of regions in the Canary Islands have no new cases of coronavirus, which could lead to other islands opening as soon as this week. Government leaders in the Canary Islands are asking for special permission to end the state of emergency by this week, which could see the beaches reopen in a fortnight, restaurants in three weeks and limited holidays within a month. While Spain has reported more than 213,000 cases across the country as it remains on lockdown, La Graciosa is just one of the small regions in the Canary Islands with no reported cases. The island has just 700 inhabitants but welcomes 25,000 tourists each year, having been dubbed the 8th Canary Island in 2018 when it was upgraded from an isla. However, it has been in strict lockdown for the past six weeks. While boats would leave once every hour, now one goes in the morning and one in the evening. Limited people still travel to the island from Lanzarote, primarily workers, but cases have remained at zero. Miguel Paez, who lives on the island, said, I have not heard anyone say we're going to throw ourselves into the street, that there is no contagion. To me, the feeling that is coming is one of caution. He also added, we are aware that there are no new cases, but that does not mean that nothing will happen, because La Graciosa is still connected to Lanzarote, and someone infected can still enter. El Hierro, I think I've got that pronunciation right by the way, I'm sure you'll correct me in the description below if I haven't, is one of the smallest islands uh, in the Canary Islands and La Gomera have both been able to escape relatively unscathed. In El Hierro, no cases of the coronavirus have been confirmed for a month, while La Gomera hasn't reported any more cases for a fortnight. Now these islands could be the first in the Canary Islands to open, according to government officials, ahead of the busier and more heavily populated regions such as Tenerife and Gran Canaria. According to local media, the smaller islands could take the lead and act as pilots for de-escalation. However, holidays that would begin again in one month would only be between the eight islands and not further afield. There are various predictions for when British holidaymakers would be allowed back in through the airports and ports, ranging from this summer to the first quarter of 2021. President of the Government of the Canary Islands, Angel Victor Torres, is currently in discussion with the Emergency Committee to draw up a plan for the so-called D-Day of Deconfinement Day. The relaxed measures would see a timetable drawn up which would allow different groups of people such as the elderly or children to leave their homes at different times so that social distancing can be adhered to. The first week would allow hair salons to reopen as, as well as small shops. In the second phase or the second week shopping centres would be able to open their doors together with gyms and possibly hotels and tourist establishments but all with conditions and health regulations. The third week would see the opening of restaurants with no more than four people per table, together with the beaches and swimming pools. The fourth week 
would lift the current limit on inter-island travel so that more flights could resume between the islands, which include Tenerife, Lanzarote and Gran Canaria. This would allow local people to have a holiday. Tourists visiting Spain once the coronavirus lockdown is over will almost certainly be advised to wear masks and will have their temperature taken when arriving at airports and ports. Holidays are likely to be very different following the pandemic, with the Canary Islands never the same, as coronavirus results in new changes and restrictions across the resorts. Tenerife, Gran Canaria and Lanzarote are all to go million pound renovations to protect tourists from coronavirus and ensure social distancing. Well, I hope that gives you a little more insight into what's happening. It does give us people who love the island so much a little light at the end of the tunnel. Incidentally, if there is anyone watching who lives on the island who would like to be on the vlog, get in touch with me. My email, my email details are in the description below and maybe you could shed some light uh, onto the matter so that us people that love Tenerife can get a little more insight into it. Right, before I go, Frank Housley has sent some photos of him wearing one of my MacMaster t-shirts and added a filter to his face. What is funny is, he's also added a filter to my face. Just take a look at this. Absolutely hilarious. Also, it's his fifth wedding anniversary on 28th of April and he should have been going to New York with his wife, Diane. Here's Diane in one of my shirts. How great is that? I actually think it suits me. Right, my friends, well, that's all for today's vlog. Remember to like, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. Follow me on Instagram, which is down there. Don't forget, do not forget to get your special edition Tenerife Let's Go After Lockdown t-shirt. The links are in the description below. Don't miss out, it's for a limited time only. Anyway, that's all for today. Do take care, stay safe, stay positive, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.